Hollywood legend just called for Donald Trump to be shot and she's totally serious. Did conservative celebrities ever go this crazy when Obama was in office? I guess we wouldn't know because most celebrities can't reveal whether they are conservative or Republican for fear of losing out on jobs in the entertainment industry. Still, I don't think any conservatives went to this level of TDS over former President Obama. Ever since Trump won the election, many liberals have come completely unglued as if the world were ending. When in fact, the world is doing the exact opposite. At least from the job market exploding, ISIS being defeated, North Korea agreeing to denuke, and the stock market at record highs perspective. All of this is thanks to President Trump, yet liberals don't seem to understand that. Or they don't want to. The latest Hollywood celeb to lose it is actress Carol Cook. Cook has appeared in films and TV shows such as Laverne and Shirley, Charlie's Angels, The Incredible Mr. Limpet, Sixteen Candles, Cagney, and Lacey, and Murder, she wrote, amongst others. Staying true to her actor roots, Cook implied that President Trump should be assassinated by John Wilkes Booth. Fox News reported. Broadway legend Carol Cook implied she wants to see President Trump get assassinated, asking where's John Wilkes Booth when you need him? When approached by a TMZ cameraman in Los Angeles on Sunday night. The 94-year-old Cook's comment delighted her husband, who quickly reminded viewers that John Wilkes Booth killed a president, who was obviously Abraham Lincoln. Wilkes Booth assassinated Lincoln at Ford's Theater in Washington, D.C., in 1865. Where is he when you need him? Cook asked again before someone off-camera asked, so we need to kill President Trump? Why not? Cook asked now, will that get me in trouble? Will I be on an enemy's list? My God I hope so. Just keep me out of jail. The United States Secret Service did not immediately respond to Fox News' request for comment. TMZ approached the famed actress to get her thoughts on Timothy R. Hughes, a cast member of the hit Broadway musical Frozen, who recently snatched a pro-Trump sign from someone who held it up in the audience. Cook was not familiar with Hughes' action but clearly shares his disdain for the president. Her husband appeared to know exactly what Cook was going to say and TMZ noted that it appears to be something they've said before. The Frozen cast was taking the stage for a curtain call last week when someone in the crowd displayed a sign that read Trump 2020 and Hughes who portrays the character Pabby in the Disney musical, grabbed it from the audience member's grasp and threw it off stage. Hughes later shared a short clip of the moment on Instagram, insisting that he would not apologize for his behavior toward the disrespectful man trying to interrupt this moment with a pathetic political platform. Cook has been in show business for over half a century, appearing in everything from Lucille Ball's The Lucy Show to Grey's Anatomy. She has starred in a variety of Broadway productions including Hello, Dolly! Many Democrat celebrities have wished President Trump harm or even death. Mickey Rourke called Trump a big mouth bitch bully, and said he would love 30 seconds in a room with a little bitch. Madonna told a crowd at the Women's March on Washington in 2017 that she, thought an awful lot about blowing up the White House. In February 2017, Robert De Niro said on The View that he would like to punch Trump in the face. He did later say, it wasn't like I was gonna go find him and, really, punch him in the face, but he's gotta hear it. Kathy Griffin held up a fake bloody, decapitated Trump head. President Trump said the pictures were sick and tweeted out that his son, Barron, was having a hard time with them. At the UK's 2017 Glastonbury Music and Arts Festival, Johnny Depp said, I think Trump needs help and added, when was the last time an actor assassinated a president? Anthony Bourdain was asked what he would serve at a summit between Trump and Kim Jong-un. He told the TMZ video crew that he would serve the poison, hemlock. In NYC Public Theater's Julius Caesar, a figure who looked like Trump was playing the title role and was stabbed to death by several senators. Had their Republican colleagues wished the same thing on Obama, or produced plays or shows that depicted Obama being killed, how long do you think they'd be working in Tinseltown or on Broadway? I mean, if they could even say they were Hollywood Republicans in the first place. Yeah, it wouldn't be long. Apparently this is what Democrats and liberals have been reduced to. If they don't agree with the election results, they advocate killing the person who was chosen by the people to lead. That's not a republic, that's anarchy. So, apparently, all Democrats are Antifa. Makes sense. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click, like, and subscribe. Thank you.